Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's second episode of Ted's Booze Cellar, with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Now, today I'm going to be looking at a very special beer in particular, uh, or rather, a special porter in particular. Uh, one of my presents for my birthday recently was that my brother went to the Beer Shop London, which is, um, let's see, is in... Uh, I have to look up the addresses here. It's actually like reasonably near to like where I usually hang out in London. It's in Nunhead Green. It's in South East London. Um, and they're basically like this craft beer shop. Uh, they do some snacks in there, but they also do like gift boxes of like multiple beers and sort of like porters, nails, and that sort of thing. And it's a really good place to get uh, gifts for someone if you want to you know, get something for someone who has an interest in beer, porters, ales, that sort of thing. I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> it would, of course, be lovely if I was. And they... My brother recently got me um, a birthday present of um, a six-pack of uh, assorted, like, beers and sort of stuff like that from them. Really good place for getting cr uh, Christmas or birthday presents. And... One of the things that was in the box was this. The Oboe... Uh, Porter by uh, Villagers Brewery, who I have found on Twitter actually, and um, they're a specific brewery in uh, Deptford, usually open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And I'll leave actually their Twitter handle as well as um, the London beer shop in the video description below. But let's have a taste of this now. At the bar I work at, we don't usually sell a lot of porters, unfortunately, um, which is a bit of a shame because I do really like a good porter. You know, they're r really like not the kind of like beer you w want to get hammered on. You really want to take your time with it and enjoy it. And kind of like a stout, there's a lot of like roasted dark flavours in there. It's really like deep and earthy and... You kind of get that with this. The oboe, it kind of like, it's a funny taste actually, because it tastes like very, 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 very mild coffee. With like just a little wee hint of like, let's say, slight tiny bit of chocolatiness, a little bit of some sort of nuttiness, maybe something like macadamia sort of flavour. Um, it's a really, really nice flavour, and the thing is, kind of like IPAs, I feel like with a lot of porters, there's a very fine line between getting it just right and making it just complete garbage, because, again, kind of like with IPAs, the thing is with porters is that they can sometimes uh, just have too many flavours in them, and I appreciate when like brewers are like really creative and they try to like mix up flavours and all that sort of thing, but... Sometimes you do just have to play it safe with just a few different flavours mixed in there. And uh, thankfully that seems to be what look like, or taste like rather, what the Villages Brewery have done with this drink. Is it, it is like, you know, it's got at least three or four different, you know, differential flavours in it. But they don't clash too much with each other. And they complement each other just fine. Um, this is really more of a... Uh, a porter or beer or whatever that I would recommend having not to get drunk on but literally just to have a, over like a chat with a friend or something like that in any case uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, I'll leave the Twitter handles to the London beer shop and also the Villages Brewery in the uh, video description below be sure to check them out give them lots of love and uh, if you would also be so kind as to check out my other social media platforms and YouTube channels in the video description below. Um, if you have any ideas for any future alcohol reviews, leave them again in the comments section below. And any other likes, shares and subscribes are always appreciated. Until next time, stay safe, have fun with whatever you're doing, uh, know your limits, drink responsibly. And I've been Ted and I'll see you guys next time at the bar. Bye bye for now.